The Lost Puppies present The Good, the Bad, and the Manageable. Introduction of the Project We are to create TV episodes to make a show, exploring management concepts. We have chosen a spaghetti western theme which we thought would be fun. We are to create characters, storylines, episodes, and concepts, all revolving around the world of management. Our inspiration comes from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, a Clint Eastwood film. Objectives. We collaborate every week to create different storylines for new episodes and introduce new characters. We utilize the management concepts learned and integrate them into a westernized theme taking place in the past. Working together, having fun, and being creative is our main objective, all while learning new concepts in the management world. To apply what we learned into a different environment in creating a fictional world that requires the collaboration of six unique people. Here are our group introductions to get to know us a little bit better. Chantel Johnson, a hardworking student who goes to school full time, owns her own salon business, works full time, and is a part time dance instructor and performs all over Tampa Bay with her dance company. She will be majoring in marketing. Adamir, an international student from Kazakhstan, majoring in management information systems. Adamir has experience in video editing and photography. He works as a freelance photojournalist for online magazines based in his country. Travis, he is a full-time student majoring in management of information systems. He's looking forward to getting a job after college, but enjoying the college life after the military. Shauna. She is a full-time business student and full-time business worker, currently working in human resources and in the process of building her own business. She stays busy and stays motivated to get what she knows she can do accomplished. Anthony. Anthony is a junior accounting student. He deals with a very busy schedule as a lead chef and a full-time student. He strives to be successful in whatever he puts his mind to and performs at the highest level for his greatest achievements. Lawrence, a third-year USF student pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Finance. He is a full-time student and part-time audio engineer and currently living in California. After college, he hopes to start his own business and use his knowledge in finance to be a successful business owner. Here is a view of our table of contents. We have Milestone 1, Milestone 2, Design Challenges, Episode Ideas, Character Descriptions, Management Concepts, and then Executions, Reflections, and Recommendations. Milestone 1. This milestone was the beginning of it all. We each had to come up with a story, including a general idea, a general concept, and character ideas. Each of us created our own story, and we all decided which one we liked best. The chosen theme was the one we would work on all semester. We agreed Travis's theme was awesome, as he chose a western theme from the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we made it into the good, the bad, and the manageable. Milestone 2. In this milestone, we were to create a more in-depth description of our characters and create three episode ideas using different management concepts. Design Challenges. Here you will see the links to our four design challenges. Episodes we have already created. Below are two links of episodes we have already made. The Good, the Bad, and the Manageable. It is a Western-themed show targeted towards veterans, Texans, and adults. This show has six main characters. Sheriff Don, Deputy Smith, Josh, Bob, Henry the Bartender, and his wife Lauren. There is also Terry, the traveling salesman and seasonal bartender who isn't counted as one of the main characters, but more of an occasional guest. Episode 1. Henry faces an ethical dilemma. Bob's drinking is getting out of hand. Henry's business is doing well due to Bob, 
but he must also keep in mind that he can be responsible for Bob's well-being. He bends the rules for Bob due to his military prestige, but he also is to be a good business owner and learn to say no. Management concept for episode one. It is an ethical dilemma. It has to do with having to make a choice between two competing but arguably valid options. This uses different approaches such as a utilitarian approach, moral rights approach, universal approach, and justice approach. Episode 2. Bob is the main character of this episode. He wants to make more money and be hired as the protection around town, like as security for when the sheriff and deputy are busy in the station. A conflict ensues between the soldiers as Josh is trying to get hired first. A competitive competition takes place and they both try to win first place and succeed in getting hired. Management concepts for episode 2. These include a competitive competition or advantage, firm's ability to provide value to customers that exceeds what competitors can provide, is what they're striving to do. Both Bob and Josh want to get hired, so in order for one to be hired, one must exceed what the other can do. Thus, a competition ensues. Episode 3. With the conflict between the two soldiers escalating, Sheriff Don must intervene. He must use strategic management skills to act as a mediator. He realizes that they are under federal jurisdiction and feels that he has no true authority. Deputy Smith is too eager to intervene since they are fighting in his town. Sheriff Don must calm down his deputy. Management concepts for episode 3. These include management skills, technical skills such as firing a gun, interpersonal skills such as being empathetic, and conceptual skills such as logical reasoning. Episode 4. A gunshot from the conflict between Josh, the Union soldier, and Bob, the Confederate soldier, spooks a horse that breaks loose from its owner and runs into Henry's bar. Inside the bar, the horse wreaks havoc and breaks a few chairs and a table. Henry approaches the owner of the horse, after the horse has been calmed down, to see about getting some recompense from him for the broken chairs and table. The owner of the horse directs the blame towards the conflict between the two soldiers. Henry then goes to Sheriff Don to intervene in the situation. The commotion with the horse draws Josh's attention away from Bob, and he recognizes the owner of the horse from a wanted poster with a decent-sized bounty. Josh decides to disengage from his altercation with Bob and pursue the outlaw that is worth some money. Bob is slightly wounded and takes this opportunity to get away from the conflict and the danger to his life. Management Concepts for Episode 4 Management ideas associated with this are observing competitors' actions. In business, this concept is used in a similar fashion to what the Confederate soldier Bob uses when he notices his adversary is distracted by something else. From the textbook on page 419, the actions of other significant players in the immediate environment often can trigger changes inside a given organization even when that organization would prefer not to make any changes. Other management concepts can be applied to this scenario as well such as superior value. Josh sees that there is superior value in going after the man with the bounty on his head rather than pursuing Bob. Management concepts for episode 4 continued. In the case of Henry and his wife's business planning process, he is having to make real-time adjustments to the situation with the horse in his bar. First, he has to get the horse out of his bar, and secondly, he is trying to get some repayment for his broken property. Seeing as the horse's owner is an outlaw, and the other parties that cause the situation are getting away, it doesn't look promising for Henry and Lauren. They may have to just accept the loss of the table and chairs, 
since I'm not sure what kind of insurance was available to them in the Wild West, or if Henry and Lauren had purchased an insurance plan. Episode 5. Bartender, bartender Henry, as an owner of his saloon, wants more customers. He is pretty good at business and understands that he needs competitive advantage in the neighborhood. Today is not the same as yesterday, and changes happen. The residents now have one more place to go to drink since another bar has been recently opened. The new bar called American Saloon has a bigger space and offers much more types of drinks than Henry's. So, Henry noticed that many of his customers now prefer spending their free time at the alternative place. He saw Bob and Josh drinking beer last Friday night at American Saloon. Lauren, Henry's wife, got sad as well. She realized that the situation has a negative impact on her husband's business and overall profit. Henry was trying to understand why American Saloon attracts more people and makes more money. Lauren noticed that the main reason is its room capacity and more drinks available. She convinced Henry to learn more recipes for their bar menu. However, they both could not do anything with the size of their saloon. Henry learned how to make different sorts of customers favorite drinks. Lauren also came up with an idea, which is decreasing current prices and make a significant difference with prices of American Saloon. They ended up serving more people and got their competitive advantage. The episode mainly reflects idea of change agent. In this case, Henry's wife, Lauren, is the agent who analyzed the situation, understood what the customers were interested in, and put a lot of effort to implement her ideas into useful products and service. By products, we mean new types of drinks, and by service, we mean decreased prices. The idea of change agents is clearly shown in the textbook on page 440. Lauren successfully identified what needs to be changed and then convinced Henry to use this information to make changes and eventually gain competitive advantage. Management Concepts for Episode 5 Comparative Advantage A firm that provides superior value Intervention, a set of structured activities or action steps designed to improve an organization. Lauren stepped in to help Henry's business get busy again. Episode 6. This episode is focused on the external forces from the town's new law affecting Henry's saloon. Last call for bars in the town has now been moved up to 1 a.m. from the town's previous 4 a.m. Henry sits down and does a process redesign for the saloon to cope with the new changes. He must change his business routines with the new law and his employees' routines will change too, including serving food now. Before they only served alcohol, but with alcohol serving hours decreasing, Henry decides they will sell food and desserts to make up for the business they will lose. Management Concepts for Episode 6 Change due to legal developments. The government has passed a new law. Strategy, altering their current plans to abide by the law, yet still make money. The change process. Phase 1, unfreezing, letting go of past ways of conducting business. Phase 2. Movement. Adding food and desserts to change the menu and abiding by the new law. Phase 3. Refreezing. Locking in this new plan and make it routine. Our TV show has six main characters. Sheriff Don is the sheriff of the town, so he holds a figurehead position as a symbol of law and order around the town and works as a disturbance handler. He doesn't have the technical skills of a gunslinger, but he has good interpersonal skills to get along with plenty of people to calm down any situation. He is older and looking to have an easy job and not to get shot trying to perform his duties. Sometimes this means sitting on the sidelines and letting things work themselves out. Deputy Smith. He is the sheriff's deputy. 
Smith is more of the brash young personality that falls into the disturbance handler role along with the sheriff. He gets into the thick of things to try and straighten them out. He has good technical skills when it comes to shooting, but the sheriff's better at de-escalating situations. The Confederate Soldier Bob is the Confederate soldier and the risk taker. He is a very strong and willing native fighter that protects his side of the town. Although he is a good person, he does struggle with drinking every now and then, which causes him to get sidetracked and take a trip to the local saloon. The Union Soldier Josh is a 25-year-old Union Soldier. Josh is known as a patriot who dedicated most of his life to serving. Sometimes people find him to be too serious. There is no way that he cannot cope with accomplishing tasks. Overall, he is a responsible, systematic, and experienced individual. The Bartender Henry is a very outgoing character who is charismatic and funny. He works long hours, so he has great personality traits to keep himself and his customers entertained. He has excelled in interpersonal skills like being able to be empathetic and persuasive. As the manager and owner of his saloon, he must take many tough decisions into account. When it comes to ethical decision making, he uses a universal approach, which is like the well-known saying of, treat others the way you want him to be treated. He is a well-liked guy who occasionally breaks the law, but you just can't hate him. The Bartender's Wife Lauren is an important role in keeping the saloon organized and formulating strategies to be a better business. She tends to be quiet and sticks to her work in the back office unless Henry needs to help her out in the front. A lot of the business side of the saloon couldn't be possible if it wasn't for Lauren. Although problems do arise while working together, they always end up having a good teamwork relationship and make ethical decisions together. Moonshiner Terry Terry is a moonshiner who works for Henry at the saloon. He also makes his own moonshine and sells it to bars. He is an ambitious individual and is open to learning new things. Here are some character profiles and pictures from the main characters of The Good, The Bad, and The Manageable. The Good, The Bad, and The Manageable With our theme set in a western town in previous time period, we can be creative in how certain situations would be handled during that time. With six very different characters, each episode will be different, innovative, and entertaining. With six characters, we can assign one character for each group member and consult with the group member about how each would react. This would make it as fair as possible. The Charter With six group members who all think differently, we can use our skills for the greater good. Chantel is a great writer and researcher and will help tie in the management concepts with everyone's ideas. Everyone must have input for different ideas. She will elaborate on a character. Adamir will put everything into video format and make the episodes. He will also pick a character to describe when the character is involved in an episode. Travis will be our organizational guy who also creates our documents needed for episodes and pick a character. Shauna will be the communicator and make sure everyone stays in contact. She can help wherever help is needed. She will pick a character. Lawrence is our creative person who will make sure the episodes flow and are entertaining. He will also pick a character to elaborate on. Anthony is the floater who will pick a character and help out wherever help is needed. How we will accomplish this. With everybody being a part of a team and all six of us utilizing our skills to the best of our ability, we will be able to expand on our own and everyone else's ideas, come up with an entertaining TV show, and make sure to have fun in the process. Management concepts. Management roles. Interpersonal roles. This applies in real world as someone is having to take charge. One must lead a group to get things done. This is a hierarchy of power and responsibility. Globalization. This is huge. This is what it means to have an open mind. If you run a business, it's great to integrate ideas from other countries all over the world. The more diverse you are, the more you stand out. 
Unbounded rationality. Human beings fall under this category. This was the week we used Spock as an example. He is all about logic isn't bounded or limited by his emotions. We, on the other hand, have to deal with our changing emotions and still come to a logical decision based on facts. Perfection doesn't exist, and sometimes we must rely on our instincts, which can make some great leaders and managers. Benchmarking. This comes in handy for all managers and businesses alike. This means that we look at competitors and non-competitors and tailor what they do into our own strategy. Sometimes the best ideas are ones that someone else created. As long as you aren't taking ownership of it, it doesn't hurt to integrate others' ideas into your business. Again, globalization. Organizational structures. This helps determine how a company runs. With a flat structure, there is a less hierarchy. Decisions can be made faster and there is less chain of command. Tall organizational structures are usually big businesses with a long chain of command. This includes companies with many departments and makes it easier to manage each department. Organization is key in management. Change. Change is reality. It happens every day. One must learn to strategize and adapt to change in order to keep growing. Growth doesn't happen if you stay in the same spot. New ideas and concepts and new strategies must all take place to grow. This can also mean hiring new people to achieve the new ideas and concepts. To be afraid of change only hurts yourself and your company. Change is inevitable and one must adapt to stand out. Executions According to the final presentation module, the project is supposed to be a sales pitch to gain funding for our TV show. We were not able to find the perfect video clips for our episodes, but in our project we have compiled a video to represent the idea and feel that our show would have. Thus far, we have used a group text to try to keep the group thinking about weekly assignments. We delegate and assign work after some have volunteered to do certain tasks. We all participate and try to make it fair. We keep in constant contact with one another to make sure we get everything done and that we are not falling behind. We help each other out whenever necessary. Reflections. We all agree that we have to put in the work needed to succeed. We all try to participate as much as we can and found out that with constant contact, we all work well together. We all help each other out and make sure that everybody is doing what they're supposed to do. We collaborate and work as a team and stay on top of each other. With six people, we were able to delegate jobs pretty fairly. Recommendations and advice. We all recommend doing a group chat. Everyone nowadays has their phone glued to their hand and with group texts, it makes our lives so much easier and so much more easy to make sure we stay in contact. We used PowerPoint, Word documents, iPhone video recordings, handwritten and drawn ideas, frames, storyboards, the creative minds of us all, and the technology of video merging. Read the modules, every word. Sometimes we get confused and need to rely on our group members on what to do and how to execute the assignment. Don't be lazy and wait until the last minute. Make sure to pay attention to design challenges. Make sure to stay in contact with your group and don't leave them hanging. Make sure to put in the work. Etc. Group projects can be frustrating, but technology makes life easier. All must be willing to participate or it will not work. Be proactive, be diligent, be trustworthy, but be you.